Namaste student. Here we have five problem related to your profit and loss. So here, let's see. If the selling price of 16 water bottle is equal to the cost price of 17 water bottle, find the gain percent earned by the later. Now, next the cost price of the 12 candle is equal to the selling price of 15 candle, find the loss percent. By selling 130 cassettes, a man gain an amount equal to the selling price of 5 cassettes, find the gain percent. Fourth one, by selling 45 lemons, a vendor losses a sum of equals to the selling price of 3 lemon, find the loss percent. And the last one, oranges are bought for, not for, at 6 for rupees 20 and sold at 4 for rupees 18, find the gain or loss percent. So, here if you see the quotient, you can see what, they have not given the price, just they are given the condition. What condition? If the selling price of 16 water bottle, that means you are selling how many? 16 water bottle, which is equal to the cost price of 17 water bottle. So now we are going to do what? We will take the cost price of one water bottle, be rupee 1. It will be easy for us to go for this type of problem. Let's see. Later, CP of 1 water bottle b rupees 1 okay now if cp of one water bottle will be this then we need to find your 17 and 16 both so cp of 16 water bottle will be what b rupees how many 16 and cp of 17 water bottle will be what rupees 70 now let's see what we have selling price of 16 water bottle will go for the selling price that means sp sp of 16 water bottle equals to what cp of 17 water bottles that means rupees 70 now whenever we decide gain or loss we need to compare with the same thing cp of 16 sp of 16 look at that cp of 16 rupees 16 and sp of 16 water bottle is 70 that means what since sp is greater than cp that means what gain percent now how many gain sp minus cp so rupees 17 minus rupees 16 and we are getting rupee 1 so we need to find gain percent we have a formula gain percent equals to what gain by cp into 100 percent and we can write here 1 by cp cp is what which one we are going to take cp of 16 16 so we have here 16 so this one now we can cancel it by what 4 25 so we are getting what 6 point something okay what take it 6 24 1 in your hand point 2 that is 8 and 5 6.25 percent this is our first answer now if you look at the second one also which is quite similar to your first one the cost price of 12 candle is equal to the selling price of 15 candle find the loss person so here also we are going to take cost price see our target will be cost price so cost price of 12 so let's take let cp of one candle equals to what rupee one now what we are going to take we will take this two, 12 candle and 15 candle. Okay. So here, CP of 12 candles equals to what? Rupees 12. And CP of 15 candle equals to what? Rupees 15. So what we need to find? We need to check SP for what it is given. Selling price of 15. 
candle that means selling price of 15 candle is equals to what 12 candle that means SP of how many 15 candles equals to what rupees 12 why because SP of 15 candle SP of 15 candle is equals to what CP of 12 candles and we have CP of 12 candle is what rupees 12 now you compare these two same thing we need to compare SP of 15 candle is equals to what 12 and CP of 15 candle is equals to 15 since CP is greater than your SP therefore what not gain loss we are getting that means CP minus SP that is what 15 minus 12 rupees 3 that means loss percent is what loss by CP into 100% substitute the value 15 that means 5 20 and lose it 20 percent loss 20 percent now next proceed for the third question if you look at here by selling 130 cassette a man gain an amount equals to selling price of 5 cassette so here we are going to take SP okay why because uh, here we don't have any CP related term so we'll take let let SP of one cassette okay equals to rupee one then what SP of 130 cassette equals to what rupees 130 and one more that is SP of 5 cassette SP of 5 cassette equals to rupees 5 now you can see what that gain what gain is and what a man gain an amount equals to selling price of 5 cassette that means gain is equals to what SP of 5 cassette that is what rupees 5 okay so by selling this one by selling 130 cases man gain this one to so SP of 130 cases we are getting rupee 130 that means SP is rupees 130 and man getting gain equals to what rupees 5 there's a formula gain equals to what gain equals to SP minus CP so we have gain value that is 5 we have SP also 130 CP we don't know that means take CP this side and uh, gain this side that means 5 this side we will get 125 that means CP is 125 and we need to find what we need to find gain percent so how are we going to do gain percent formula equals to what gain by CP into 100 percent substitute the value gain is what 5 CP right now you have got that is 1 2 5 into 100 percent so that is your 5 25 25 that is 4% gain is 4% now fourth one by selling 45 lemon even the loss a sum equals to selling price of 3 lemon see again you can see that selling and selling price again we are going to take let SP so here we have let the fourth number SP of one lemon equals to rupee one what what value we have 
45 and 3 lemon so we'll write here sp of 45 lemon equals to rupees 45 and sp of 3 lemon equals to rupees 3 now what they have given Avail the losses a sum equals to the selling price of 3 lemon that means loss loss is what loss equals to sp of 3 lemon that means rupees 3 so here we have sp that is rupees 45 and loss we have rupees 3 we have the formula loss equals to what cp minus sp now we'll substitute the value loss is 3 sp we don't know not cp we don't know sp is what that is 45 now take this plus minus 45 this side we'll get plus and we are getting here 48 that is cp is 48 therefore loss person equals to what loss by cp into 100 percent and you substitute the value that is what loss loss is what 3 there is a 48 into 100 percent now we cancel you will get the answer okay so next question that is the fifth one quite different so let's see oranges are bought at 6 for rupees 20 that means 20 rupees mein 6 orange laye gaye aur 18 rupees mein 4 orange beche gaye ab aap se puch rahe hai ki gain ho raha hai ya loss ho raha hai now see whenever we need to find the gain or loss we need to compare with the equal amount that means here 6 orange 4 orange we need to think about 1 and 1 then only we can compare here differ is the difference because 6 and if we have 6 here then only we can guess that we are getting profit or loss so our first target to convert the data into 1 1 orange cost and cp and sp of one orange let's see so we can see what oranges so we have bout means CP of 6 orange equals to rupees 20. We need to find CP of 1 orange equals to what? Rupees 20 by 6. We need CP and SP of 1 orange. Now sold at 4 for rupees 18. That means SP of four oranges equals to what rupees 18 that means sp of one orange equals to what rupees 18 by 4 now check it cancel it make it a simplified form that is what 10 3 we are getting 10 by 3 and this one what 9 2 we are getting 9 by 2 now check which is greater and smaller we'll take this one like this compare 20 27 this is bigger that means sp since sp is greater than your cp that means gain gain equals to what sp minus cp so substitute here solve it we'll get here 6 3 27 20 that is 7 by 6 that means gain percent is what gain percent equals to gain by cp into 100 percent here again we have 7 by 6 and there is cp cp is what cp for one one and two we're going to take that is 10 by 10 by 3 so here division is there so 10 will be denominator plus and 3 will be up and here 100 percent so cancel here we have what 
50 uh, sorry 10 we are getting and this is your 5 and our answer is 35 percent i hope you people have enjoyed the class thank you